So I wake up to a text message today from my buddy Donnie over at Angry Fish Hills. He says, hey man, do you want to buy some platinum gars for $2,500? These things go for like three grand, but I have two of them over a foot long and I can give you them for $2,500. And I immediately thought, uh, this is, uh, that's a lot of money, Donnie. Like, uh, I don't, I don't. I know about GARS, but what the heck are Platinum GARS? I jumped into Google and immediately started doing some research on the Platinum GAR. You can tell right away these colors on these things are absolutely ridiculous. It's a bright white headlined living fossils with a pigmentation disorder from the SEA Aquarium blog. And it seems that there are people keeping them in fish tanks and they are extremely valuable. I did a search and catch them all fishing, bought one for $3,000 and right below it, it says he had one stolen. I tried to find pictures of a really big one because I know these are alligator gar and they get absolutely huge. It's almost foreign to me to just see this white coloration in a gar. All right, so it's pretty obvious this is a super exotic fish, super expensive and very rare. And I think it's awesome because these fish are super, super old and it's an alligator gar, so it's gonna get massive. This would be a show key, a showpiece fish for a massive, massive tank. And um, there's not a lot of videos of these things. The Catch Em All Fishing YouTube channel, not a huge fan of it, but he has some videos where he goes out and buys one for $3,000 and then he puts it in like this kiddie pool in his backyard and then has it stolen a couple weeks later. I don't know why. If you why why you'd spend three thousand dollars on a fish and then put it in your backyard in a pond like that I, I don't know. Anyways, um, these fish uh, they're over a foot long and if you're interested they're thirty five hundred dollars and I think I said twenty five hundred before but they're thirty five hundred so um, I I wish I could get them guys but I just can't right now and I'm like Don you got to send me some footage it'd be cool just to showcase this as a you know bring it to attention that pe like we sometimes forget about all the cool freshwater fish that exist uh, I'm gonna quit blabbing if you're interested you can visit angryfishsales.com and they are for sale After spending a good amount of time researching this fish, I gotta say there's not a lot of info on the web about it. The whiteness that is actually created isn't an albino, it's actually referred to as like a leucism. And I'll be the first to admit, I don't know a lot about that. My first question when I saw this fish was, if I bred a platinum gar with an, another platinum gar, am I going to for sure going to have a platinum offspring and vice versa? What if I breed it with a regular gar? That is my first question. I will claim defeat, I do not know. What I do know is alligator gar grow uh, over nine feet long. So these fish are going to live a very long life and get extremely huge. I did read that the female doesn't even reach maturity, full maturity to breed till it's over 10 years old. I also know that alligator gar have the ability to also gulp air from the surface and just take in regular oxygen. And that's what makes it possible for them to live in these small tiny ponds in areas where the water completely almost dries up. And you, you've may, you may have seen footage on the Discovery Channel where they're flying over in an airplane and you see a 10 foot long fish just sitting in this little puddle of water and that is an alligator gar. I've been obsessed with alligator gar for a very long time and it's kind of sad that they grow so large. I kind of wish that they just stopped growing right, or, right around that like four foot mark because you could easily keep them in tanks like massive tanks a lot easier but because they hit that nine ten foot range it just makes it literally impossible for us to keep them in aquariums. So yeah guys, it's quite obvious, this is like one of the pinnacle top fish for exotics. You could easily pay $3,000 for a smaller one. And I was on the search for some larger ones because they grow nine feet long. So it would be super killer to see like a seven foot platinum gar. Let me know what you guys think of these in the comments. If you want to contact, go to angryfishsales.com. Thanks for watching guys, let me know if you would ever spend this kind of money on an exotic fish like this.